What's up guys? To Intuitive 717. I am back with another reading, hanging out with the bossy beeves. We're going to dive right into a collective message around the divine masculines. Um, you know, the overall energy I'm feeling with this particular collective is um, just really watching at a distance, okay? I feel like the energy I'm getting is like blocked, blocked from your energy, okay? They don't have the courage to approach. I feel like a lot of them, they don't want to be admiring you from afar. I mean, don't get me wrong here, okay? They just want to have that confidence to approach you. They don't want to be sitting in the background, okay? So you might be dealing with a divine masculine who may be silent right now. Um, but again, it's just this energy I'm picking up on of being blocked from you, okay? What are the divine masculines dealing with behind the scenes that's contributing to this energy? Okay, so they may be going through a period of healing or not feeling confident in some way, feeling some kind of rejection or not feeling worthy in this connection. And I feel like that is because many of them may be realizing that you're a lot more mature than they anticipated or I feel like um, like that inner child part of them is having to grow up when it comes to connecting with you. You're a lot of responsibility and I feel like that's been the major lesson for this particular collective okay we have venus and we have offer it may be that their offer was childish and this could be a part of them that you may be helping them heal because the energy that i'm getting from this divine feminine is like you're making them feel like they're not good enough for you in some way or that this rose or this offer that they're presenting it's not good enough okay um and they, they want to be good enough and they're not going to approach until they're good enough. But I feel like it's just one of those vital lessons that you learn on this journey. They don't feel attractive to you right now. Okay. And I feel too that you don't feel attracted to them either because at first, um, I feel like at first this offer might have been very attractive right off the bat because you could have been very physically attracted to this divine masculine and this could be a divine masculine who's learning an inner child lesson here like they might have been praised a lot for their looks growing up they may have gotten away with a lot growing up because of their charm and their looks and i feel like you showed up as a lesson to this divine masculine to not abuse that gift okay because i feel like a lot of them have used that energy and then you showed up as this valuable lesson they really tried to move some type of which way with you and you really had to check them on whoa 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 it's gonna take more than looks and charm and a good body and slinging around that big you know in order to to get my attention sir and i feel like that was really like the biggest shot to this divine masculine's ego okay we have transformation it's like now they're really going through that transformation okay they want your nurturing and compassion this is what makes you that mature woman i feel divine feminine okay this is what separates you from the rest and believe me they're after this they want it so bad they've never been able to get this despite all of that charm and the good looks and the, the flashy money the lifestyle um i feel like you've you're you've you've showed up in a way where you rise above that you know it's like you don't need anybody to give you that flashy lifestyle you're here giving it all to yourself and that's what they didn't anticipate that's what they did not they didn't bank on that or they didn't see that coming this might have been a hidden a hidden move by the universe in order to teach this divine masculine a lesson okay in order to bring that balance to their life or i feel like that balance even to people that they've done wrong to or misused again you know that beautiful masculine energy that's really meant to you know to show up in a in a decent way <clears throat> at least in a decent way i feel like if any of them have misused that you've shown up as this this beautiful balance of temperance of temperance pouring into yourself really not needing anybody for anything because you have maybe higher powers in your life your connection to source right you don't you don't pour into any man as your god right you don't give up your life and yourself and lose yourself 
in any kind of masculine energy that comes into your life because I feel like the only you know the only time you lose yourself is maybe in meditation or prayer with source the only time you ever fully surrender otherwise you know you are the type of divine feminine energy who knows a lot about yourself you know a lot about your own power you know a lot about your own femininity i feel like you could have maybe a lot of divine feminine energy in your life who have taught you a lot of valuable lessons i feel like you work well with a lot of the elements and you have a lot of gifts where you know how to protect your energy okay you don't easily give away your energy and that's what this divine masculine is seeing about you or either learning to love about you or see it as some kind of example or something to learn from i feel like you could be setting the example um people may have seen you as very secretive very mysterious but now that they know who you are um it's like they're kind of throwing in the towel they see you as they can't even compete with you because of this energy of you just kind of rising above this you being able to do for yourself okay but you know that's the overall energy that i'm getting here um <laughs> I feel with this divine feminine okay they're kind of slowly moving around in the background not wanting to approach because if we go back here again that offer you made they didn't expect this okay they you might have given this energy right off the bat but maybe they fumbled it or they acted immature in some kind of way is that the double card don't tell me that's a double card oh <laughs> not that it's a bad thing I feel like the double card I think I <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys i think i might have got the hiccups i hope not but we'll see <laughs> um the devil card i think was originally the sun or the raw card and so it represents freedom here and i feel like you know f you know for the divine masculines they're learning to have more control is what i'm getting okay and this is what i mean by misusing that charm and the good looks and material wealth and you know just using it to manipulate or seduce or lust after a lot of them i feel are paying a price for it when it comes to you okay because they can't seem to find that same spark about themselves now that you you've come along and you've maybe taught them this lesson and now you've moved you've moved on okay this is where they want to be because right now i feel like this is where they're at is, is kind of like introspection looking at themselves in this energy and realizing that maybe this is why that charm didn't work i feel like a lot of you are aware of you know true divine masculine energy is what i'm getting okay a lot of your divine masculines might have shown up with this offer in a really immature way only to learn that it's like whoa like listen to me sir <laughs> like it takes control it takes poise it takes you know respect for yourself compassion like you really got to move in a certain type of way in order to to to, to attract me or for me to see what's sexy okay a lot of you divine feminines are really demonstrating what is sexy what is what is charming what is really you know what is really meant to seduce okay like it's like how do you seduce the woman who already has everything right now now you really have to act with character now you really have to act with integrity now you really have to act you know with honesty and really show who it is you are with your character and i feel like that's what's stumping a lot of these divine masculines and it slowly got them watching you from afar and really figuring out or slowly trying to figure out how do i get into this emperor energy and match that and i feel like control has a big thing to do with it learning to control their energy their temper their impulsivity okay learning to control themselves when it comes to substance use right trying to show up as a little bit more polished knowing that you have control over your mind substances can't control you a lot of your masculines don't know how to go through their day without being intoxicated okay and they've been used to dealing with feminine energies who are okay with this 
And I feel like when it comes to you, it's like, oh God, I can't show up like that. Fuck, shit. Uh, sorry guys, I don't mean to curse, but it's that's just how it's coming off <laughs> from the masculines. Okay, they can't, they can't show up like this. Let's get your energy. Why do they feel like that? I can't show up like this. They feel like they gotta come through as clean cut. Yeah, the eight of cups, because they know you're gonna walk away. That's what I'm saying, like the charm and the good looks and the money and stuff like that, it's not enough. You gotta come through as like your character comes through as clean cut. And I feel like that is what's sexy. You know, this coming and going and being very impulsive and chasing tail, like that kind of energy, it won't cut it for this divine feminine. And I feel like that's what makes you kind of stand out. You know, they can charm you, but I feel like maybe once you get a whiff of their personality, maybe you might get turned off in the sense where you know they may not be able to handle it or present themselves as like, like I don't know why I'm getting this, but traditional. I feel like they're starting to wake up to that's what's sexy about you, Divine Feminine, is that you're traditional in a sense. You represent like feminine true feminine energy woman tradition family you know being able to lead a home being able to take care of your divine masculine being able to take care of offspring of the home the family um you know that could include pets just your home in general you and your counterpart being a family a unit um i feel like in the past it's been scattered no one's been able to lead in terms of being able to catch their attention and say hey listen um, you know, this is what I represent. I feel like for them, they're awakening to that as first being very intimidating, <laughs> um, but then at the same time being very sexy as well. What about you is so sexy, Divine Feminine? What do you keep presenting to them that they just can't get their eye off of? Okay, so I'm drawn to the trust card here, okay? And that's what I'm saying. It's like somebody that kind of takes care of this Divine Masculine energy in a way that really goes you know beyond it's like you might do things without them even needing you to or asking you to um and it's the really little things that you might do that it's kind of represented here in this card and the message in this is truth and the reason you do these little things that really capture their heart is because you genuinely love them and you genuinely know their soul so you do things because you genuinely know that it, it's going to mean a lot to them or you genuinely love them to the point where you want to take care of them Okay, I feel like a lot of your masculines, they're not going to pass this up. Many of them are going to go through the transformation, okay, because they're not going to let this opportunity slip them by. Many of them may be silent right now because to go through the transformation or the realization could be really painful, but I feel like for the most part, they're not going to let you slip by, okay? Sweet sobriety and feelings, okay? A lot of your divine masculines, I feel like you've captured their attention in a way where um, I mean, you're extremely desirable, um, Divine Feminine, in every single way. But it's like in order to have you, they really got to come clean. Um, you're pure in this card here. Um, oh, goodness. Why am I getting that message? <laughs> I'm hearing say it. Um, you're a very pure lover is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine. I don't know why I'm being called to say that. I can't really show this card too much, guys. I did try to cover it up in white marker as much as I can. But it's pretty much kind of still see through but she's it seems as though she's you know like undoing her top um her bottom half is is fair um but i feel like you are really calling them in in this really sensual way where they're awakening to maturing they like the feeling of i don't know why i'm getting to say this and i don't mean it in a, a bad way but it's like turning a boy into a man they kind of are turned on by that energy or they can't help but feel like this is what you end up you know doing or awakening within them okay they've never felt this from anybody before okay but ideally that is you know just kind of how they perceive your energy at this time okay and we also get fidelity and i feel like this represents a loyalty to you in a sense okay many of your divine masculines really going off on this journey and this also represents like waiting and i feel like that purity i was talking about where you're a very pure lover okay um they know that you command a lot of self-respect as well and that it is somewhat of a privilege to be with you and i'm also being guided to say in you oh universe why do you have to make me say it um but that is because of the energy that was coming through in this card here okay um 
it is just kind of this privilege to be in this like pure kind of flower this ecstasy something about you divine feminine like you could smell really good like it is something about you that drives your divine masculine insane and it is the purity about you it could be that you just smell like goodness like wisdom you know many of you as well um you really know how to preserve that sexual energy as well like for your divine masculines um it is something that they can intuitively feel and i feel like a lot of them are um just very eager eager very eager to go through whatever this is in order to bring about some kind of reconciliation again so that you could see what it is they've gone through all right so i'm going to wrap up this message guys and you know let's get some messages from the romance angels okay what can you look forward to in this connection with this divine masculine as they go through this transformation because believe me they're gonna go through it they're not gonna let you <laughs> pass them by okay so we have release your ex this could also be a variety of things in the form of releasing ex part of the past um, but it does say as you release it you um, just kind of gain back a little bit more clarity in your energy you get your energy back in order to move forward towards what it is you want and i feel like a lot of them could be going through that because we do have unrequited love coming up so with release your ex and unrequited love and we even have love yourself first this could be all the things that are going through um this could be all of the things that your masculines are going through within this transformation okay releasing the old part of themselves that keep making them show up as immature because i feel like feminine energy around them it, they don't challenge them in the way that you do you challenge them you came in and you challenge them to want to do more or be more in some way and they want to give this a chance or maybe they want you to give this a chance because they're going to demonstrate that they really are releasing these things going on this journey of letting go of unrequited love because they don't feel chemistry there anymore the reason they don't feel it is because again you came in you challenge them in this way that makes them want to do more be more be the greatest version of themselves okay they can't get enough of that especially when you're at a distance and they feel like you're going to give that energy to somebody else you know they don't want that they would rather show up and show you that they'll go through this transformation okay we have love yourself first and i feel like you know that could be a key ingredient here <laughs> and part of what your divine masculines may be trying to do now okay so going through this period of being single and kind of loving on themselves a little bit here um making some of their dreams and goals come true and, and showing up as a little bit more grounded okay and i feel like many of you kind of may be looking back um, and just quietly observing at this time okay and they can feel it all right, that's what I have for you guys for this one. Take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? Bye, guys. <laughs>